If you're looking to trade, then let's make a deal! Supervisor Green. Green's the name, and trading's the game. Ready to bargain in the garden? You sound like a game show host. That's the correct answer! Well done! Ladies and gentlemen, should we tell the lucky contestant what fabulous prize he's won? Uh, sure. Okay. Right this way, please. Let's take a look at your fabulous prize! Green. It's a brand new car! Wow! Now, if you've already got the latest in sleek, stylish, atomic-powered automation, you can also take your winnings in the form of a cash prize! How does 100 caps sound? I'll take the cash prize. Here you go! And if you want to use your winnings to make a few purchases from Robco, we certainly won't complain. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, it's been a real pleasure. Thanks for playing! Supervisor Green. At Grey Garden, the price is always right. Shall we make a deal? Sounds good. Darling, this is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility run entirely by robots. There's not even one person here? That's right, darling. We are entirely self-sufficient, with no need for human guidance. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision-making, a testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. What became of Dr. Gray? Like so many others... He died in the war. It was a terrible loss. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Why did Dr. Gray give you these... Unusual personalities. Genius is restless, darling. It abhors stagnation. Dr. Gray was tired of the standard Mr. Handy personality. He looked to his favorite television characters for inspiration. And we are the result. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few or jobs. Uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? It's awful. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Pressure's down, radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but... Perhaps you could lend us a hand. 
What do you need me to do? Most of our water comes from the old Western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. some milk fruits for seeding, and there'll be caps for your pocket. Off you go, then. Brown. Ready to hand over those milk fruits. What are you offering, exactly? It's two caps apiece. Yeah, I'll take those caps now. Jolly good. Hey. Something. Here you go. Your thoughts? A man once told me to always leave them wanting more. Unfortunately, he was working at the rationing station. That's all for now. All right, then. Rubbish where you found it. It's stuck.